Hey there. It's time for 2018 Tops Chrome Baseball Hobby. Four box break number 31 for eBay. Finally. All right. You know, my, my customers are number one. So definitely got to take care of my peeps. Anytime you guys have an issue, you know, Uncle Jesse is uh, on the ball with that. I don't play that stuff. So definitely want to take care of that for my peoples first and foremost. But now that we got that a little figured out, let's see what I got here. Yeah, sometimes we, we do split up our sh uh, the shipments. You know, sometimes we don't we we ship breaks out of order sometimes for whatever reason. You know, sometimes I have a sorter missing or or whatever. You know, I can't really give you exact reasons why something would ship uh, before or after another break. But I can tell you that we will take care of you all the time. If you're ever missing something or, you know, something's messed up, shoot us an email and we will always take care of you. All right. So let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. A little Topps Chrome. Yeah, Cody, listen, man, if you, if you got to shoot me an email, shoot me an email. Be more than happy to help you out. That's, that's what I'm here for, man. Yeah, Aaron, trust me. I If anybody understands, it is I. Here. I hope LeBron and D-Wade have like an epic clash tonight. Lakers play the Heat at 10.30 in LA, in LeBron's house. It would be nice to see D-Wade go off for like 50 points. In a W, of course. How many points combined? I want to say they combine for at least 60 points. There we go, Cody. That's what I'm talking about. I want to say LeBron and D-Wade combined for at least 60 points. I think D-Wade is going to score at least 25. But I would love to see him go off for, for like 50 points. You know, give give the people in LA a show. All right, let's see what's in this box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Let me angle this a little bit better there. Okay. If you guys see a lot of glare, please let me know so I can uh, take care of that. 48, that's pretty good. Andrew Stevenson of the Nationals rookie autograph. Yeah, Got to keep it angled at a certain, because if not, it's going to look terrible. All right, there we go. Nationals with a hit to start things off. What's up, Levi? How are you? Ryan McMahon of the Rockies, which is numbered to 299. I'm going to try to keep things separate here for my sorters. Help them out if I can. 48's not bad. Most of it's going to be LeBron probably. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see D-Wade turn the, turn the clock back and just go off. He's been shooting the three ball lately pretty well. So, you're, are you telling me there's a chance? Parker Bridwell, Angels rookie autograph. Uh, my all-time favorite player ever, Allen Iverson, across all sports. 
Allen Iverson is my favorite basketball player and my favorite athlete, honestly, of all time. And Acuna Jr., rookie card there. And then D-Wade is a close second. What about you, Big Ten? The both uh, the both autos here. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe a variation or something. Trey Mancini to ninety nine for the Orioles right there. Trevor Ariza to the Lakers. That that trade happened. I heard I heard it was a rumor, but it actually went down. That's a really good trade for the late. Well, first of all, what they give up. Hoskins, Phillies rookie. Yeah, that's my immediate question is what did they give up to get Ariza? Bryce Harper still hasn't signed with anybody. Depending on who they trade for Ariza, that could be a really good pickup. Trevor Ariza, strong wing, def uh, wing defender. He can hold it down uh, on the perimeter. He can shoot the three ball. He can get to the rim, get his own shot. And, you know, people sleep on him defensively. Pretty good defender, too. Even though he is a little up there in age. And, you know, he's, he's won championships before with the Lakers. So it, it makes sense for him to be over there. I'm surprised the Rockets didn't make a move. It's not official yet. Ah, I think the Rockets are done, though. They, they need to blow that team up, man. Coach D'Antoni got to go. I'm still surprised nobody has hot. Like, is Mark Jackson even trying to be a coach? I think Mark Jackson would be a great coach for, like, the Lakers or the, or, or the Rockets. Mike D'Antoni refuses pl to play defense. And nobody listens to uh, to Walton. <laughs> Luke Walton, who are you to tell LeBron James how to play basketball? Come on. Meanwhile, the Heat are not making any moves. I think I think the Heat need to trade Whiteside for like maybe Vucevic or something. Like we gotta get rid of Whiteside for sure. Thank you, Big Ten. Appreciate that. Is Drogic good? Drogic is great. Drogic is awesome. I really like Drogic. Drogic, Drogic is very underrated. But he's not hes not a pure, pure, uh, pure point guard. He's, he's a scoring point guard. So there's that.
We just we don't have a superstar. That's that's the Heat's problem. We need we need a superstar. Cause it dang sure ain't Whiteside. Uh, I would really want to get rid of him. He's uh, he he showed his true colors last year in the playoffs. When push comes to shove, he just he just cowers. We got a Walker Bueller here. Bueller is a Dodger, if I'm not mistaken. My baseball knowledge isn't the greatest. Y'all know that. Oh, thank God for this. So that lets me know that it is indeed a Dodger. Baseball will be here before we know it. Another redemption. For Chance Cisco. Chance Cisco is an Oriole, if I'm not mistaken. It would have been nice to see Butler in a heat uniform. But we're probably going to try to draft somebody. Zion Williams? <laughs> That'd be awesome. He would look great in a heat uniform. But we're probably not going to suck that much. You know, we, we are historically a non-tanking organization. Victor Arano for the Phillies to 150. The Marlins are going to be interesting to see what they look like, especially in those new uniforms. Curious what that's going to look like. They look all right. I mean, I like the new logo better than the previous one. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Tim Beckham, green for the Orioles to 99. All right. Two boxes down. Dude, the Pacers got a really good team. What's going on with Oladipo? Is he hurt or something? Sabonis and Miles Turner, disgusting combo. Well, they got a nice little ten. They got you know, Aaron Holiday out there, rookie. Uh, Darren Collison is is solid. I still think they need they need another they need another superstar out there, unless uh, Miles Turner can become that, and I think he can. He just he gets into a lot of foul trouble. Oladipo's out with a knee injury. Oh no. We got Monday Night Football coming up in about an hour or two. And then later on, we got Lakers Heat. Should be a good night. And breaks, of course, going down in the meantime. After I'm done with this, I do believe I have a flawless uh, baseball briefcase to do. And that stuff is nice. Flawless. I mean, come on. What's not to like? We got that going on, and I'm sure that we have other stuff. Uh, Hannah, I, I didn't see a blue Otani. Uh, I have not passed the blue Otani yet, unless I missed it. It would be under the rookie pile. You know, see this one, maybe? That That is not numbered. And that's just a base card. So no numbered Otanis yet. All the rookies get sleeved uh, by my sorters. Inserts as well. But have not passed a blue Otani yet. Browns are going to be good next year, man. 
Watch out for the Browns next year. What's the Pacers record this year? They got a lot. Yeah, they they got a lot of nice uh, players out there. Even with Oladipo out, they, they're still a nice team. Oladipo, of course, takes them up a notch. Tiny auto would be nice. Let's see what we get. Well, there's an autograph for the Giants. Reyes Moronta. Two autos per box and this stuff. On the insert. So, what's the Pacers record, uh, Pacers fan? Buster Posey, the Giants purple to 299. Jacob Barnes with the rookie autograph for the Brewers. So, right there, real quick, are the autos. Let's see if we can hit us like a one on one parallel or something nice. Ah, oh, man, I really hope the Marlins are competitive this upcoming season. I really do. Kind of hard to get back into baseball when your team is atrocious. Pacers are sixteen and ten. What uh where what where are their standing as far as the uh the conference is concerned? What place are they in? What is it like five, fifth or sixth place or something? I know the Heat are nowhere near the playoff uh picture or whatever. We're we're still below five hundred. Even though we've been playing really good basketball uh, the last few games, we're on, we're on a, like a we're on a two-game win streak, but we've won like three of the last four or something like that. The Heat are the Heat are eleven and fourteen, which is no bueno. We are in ninth. We're in ninth place. Actually, we're probably below that. We're in third place in our division, and our division is terrible. But yeah, we're in ninth place as far as the conference is concerned. We're one and seven against our division. That is that is terrible. That is terrible. But you know we've been we've been struck with injuries. We Dion Waiters, our best player, still hasn't played a single game. But you know slowly we're starting to get players back. We we recently got James Johnson back. He's a big piece of what we do on defense and on offense. Goran Dragic was out for a little bit. We just got him back too. I think once Dion Waiters comes back and if he's playing healthy, or I should say if he is healthy and he's playing well, I think the Dolphins, I mean the Dolphins, I think the Heat can make a little noise in the East. We're a very competitive team. 
And what I like about the Heat is we, we play up to our competition. So, uh, I, you know, I'll be honest. At our full at full strength, I like the Heat against anybody on any given night. We might not be able to win a series, but, you know, we'll probably win a game or two. And in the East, I think we could do well in the East. Michael Shaw. Let's see what happens. Although I'm a little disappointed that you waited until the last box to ask me. So, uh, shame on you. Now, let's see what I can do. Pacers are fourth in the East. That sounds about right. I'm still hoping the, Dol the, the Dolphins. I'm hoping the Heat make a, a move at some point, man. Alrighty, last box mojo. Good luck, everybody, especially those without a hit. Let's see what I can do for right here. That's a rookie, so you go in the rookie pile. First autograph out of the box. Nikki Delmonico with the rookie autograph. White Sox hit. One more auto in this box. Who's it going to? Let's find out. Got a little gold action for Cody Allen of the Indians. Such a sweet looking card. Number one of fifty two. Very nice. Very nice. Gotta love Chrome. Very nice looking cards. And there's the other autograph. Rookie for the Brewers, Brandon Woodruff, the autograph. Which leaves this last stack here. There's a negative for Aaron Althair of the Phillies. Romero Rosario, rookie for the Mets. Insert. And that's going to do it for the break. Alright. So, let's recap this, shall we? Got found one negative. Aaron Althair of the Phillies. We got Cody Allen to 50 for the Indians. Got Buster Posey, Giants, 299. Sorry, Michael Shaw. Maybe next time, ask at the beginning of the break, Michael Shaw. You know how a cardboard Moses powers work. Come on now. Tim Beckham Orioles, 299. Victor Arano, Phillies, 250. Trey Mancini, Orioles, 299. And Ryan McMahon for the Rockies, 299. And the autographs are Brandon, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brandon Woodruff, Brewers. Nicky DeMarco, White Sox. Jacob Barnes, Brewers. Reyes Moronta, Giants. Walker Bueller, Dodgers, Redemption. Francisco Orioles, Purple Refractor, Redemption. Parker Bridwell, Angels. That's the four ninety nine, And Andrew Stevenson of the Nationals. And that's the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.